Yeah. I got put into a mood because I was reminded once again that my thoughts are not appreciated by some people, by most people. And even somebody like me, I mean, picture it. Look at me. Um, this is the face of hate, apparently. This is the face of medical misinformation, of intolerance, racism, sexism, homophobia. You know, if you, if you don't just fall in line with whatever they're teaching currently, they'll call you crazy. They'll take down your videos and you lose friends. Here are just some of the things I've said that have cost me jobs and friends and YouTube videos. And I'm telling you not because I'm like some sort of warrior for the truth or some radical political speaker or anything like that. I'm just a girl. I'm just a little girl trying to teach Ojibwe and tell some jokes, sing a couple of songs, right? And maybe you feel the way I do. So I'm just going to say it. Hey, Curtis is here. Who's you, Curtis? What's going on? I'm glad you're here. These are some of my thoughts that are unpopular. I don't even know if they're, they're probably popular. These are my popular, well-accepted thoughts that most of us agree with, but will get you into trouble and get you fired from your public school job and so on and make your family and friends think you're hateful. Number one, um, I'm anti-science. I don't believe in scientists. I think they're charlatans fools because I don't believe in anything NASA has ever said or done I don't believe we landed on the moon I don't believe in outer space the way they describe it I think it's water above a firmament and I think the earth is flat I don't believe we live on a spinning ball in outer space and I think they, they deliberately lied about it I don't know who they are, probably Satan, but I think everyone's been deceived, okay? That's one. That's one statement I made that made people think I was insane, crazy, and I was dismissed. And I also, uh, I didn't get fired for that comment, but I did get fired from a school where I said that. I agree. They never told me why I got fired. I just got fired. They just gave me my walk-in paper and said, you don't need to come back next year. We don't need your kind around here. <laughs> no. Okay, so one thing. I don't believe... I'm anti-science. Oh, I also don't believe... I'm afraid to say it. I don't believe viruses are something that float around in the air and you catch in what water vapor or something i think it's viruses form inside your body over something else like toxins or something i think they lied about that i think i also don't trust science this is going to be taken down for completely i don't trust them I don't know what's in that shot. They never said. And I don't trust that that disease they say everyone got. I never knew anybody who got it. I've known people who were told they had it. They said, oh, I tested positive. Really? Doesn't seem like it. I haven't had a cold since 2019.
well, you know. If anything, I've been healthier since this whole thing came down. So I don't trust science at all. I would never. And yeah, when I was a little girl, my parents didn't question anything. Anything. If an authority said it, hey, bring your kids in. We're going to give them a shot at the school. Okay. Oh, bring your baby here. We're going to load them up with vaccinations. Oh, okay. Bring your, you know. My parents never thought for themselves. They only did what other people told them to do for their kids. Whether it was circumcise their boys, vaccinate their children, anything. The school, they just handed over the authority of common sense to the school. My parents never talked to me about sex, about science, religion. Yeah, they took me to church and then said, okay, you go there, that's Sunday school. Listen to that old lady. She's going <laughs> to she's gonna be your, your spiritual guide. Curtis says, I trust science, but not scientists. That's a great distinction. Thank you. Yes, Curtis, me too. I do trust science, the scientific method. I trust an experiment. They say this water will boil at certain temperature. You can do an experiment and go, yeah, that's true. That's truth. Nothing about outer space has ever had an experiment. They can't prove anything. We just got to take their word for it. Yeah, so I trust science, sure. Logic, <laughs> you know, that's great. But I think scientists are a bunch of charlatans, liars. They're priests of a, um, a new religion. Probably not even a new religion. It's an anti-religion religion, science. People go, oh, he's got a, a degree in astrophysics. Oh, the word physics. That's exciting. Is it? Is it? Or is it because you don't know what the word physics means?